Mike, wake up. Carly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you okay? Well, I'd be a lot better if you didn't slap me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. How about you? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I just had this uh, goose uh, egg. Where? Mm. Wow. You sure you're okay? I think we're both okay now. Well, I don't know about that, Carly. Uh, it doesn't look like we're okay. <sighs> Looks like we're in trouble. As the world turns. Tool shed. What the hell happened? I don't know. The last thing I remember, we turned around and Teague was standing there with that gun. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, I was trying to put my arm up when he hit me. Did you see stars? I did. Literally. I thought that was something that only happened during cartoons. <sighs> something must have spooked him and he got suspicious and he came back. We didn't hear his truck in the driveway. Well, he probably left it at the bottom of the hill and then came up on foot. That's the one thing I didn't figure. They dragged us out here so his buddies wouldn't know. He was scared that we'd find this. He's probably still scared if he thinks it's missing. Luckily, he was concentrating on my gun. Well, you think this is all the evidence you need? Well, that's Teague's shirt found in Teague's cabin. It smells like kerosene. It's got blood on it, sure. Molly's blood. Why would he just hide it up there behind that stupid stuff on the shelf. I mean, why not get rid of it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he was going to build a fire and burn it, then he forgot. Or maybe he was going to show it to his buddies and brag about it. The guys drink so much, he's probably not functioning on more than <clears throat> two cylinders half the time. Well, he shouldn't have had to hit people. Ah, oh, no kidding. <clears throat> oh, no, come on, Jack. Don't stand up too fast, OK? Oh. Oh, my God. What? There's light coming through that vent up there. It's morning. We've been unconscious oh. all night. Oh, no. Another morning? I was supposed to call Hal first thing oh, no. What is it with you calling Hal? Never mind. All I know is that I have to get out of here. I don't care how cold it is. I don't care how far away it is. I want out. Door open? Yeah, of course it's open. Why don't you just walk right through it? No, he dragged us out here and he left it unlocked. It's locked. You think we can break it down? It's metal. Metal frame, cinder block walls. Wait, what are you saying, Jack? Can we get out of here or not? Carly, you really don't want me to answer that question. You're strong. Just t tell me that you can kick the door down. <laughs> Hercules might be able to kick the door down. Me, I just end up hurting my foot. Take it easy, Carly. Oh, my God. Just because I can't kick the door down doesn't mean there isn't some other way out of here. What way? What way? Because I'm freezing, and I have to get back to Oakdale, all right? Okay, well, maybe there's something in here we could use that might help us, all right? Oh, well, that's kind of useless. Hey, do something just in case we get hungry. We can uh, eat some seed. That's funny. That's funny. I'm starving over here. My fingers are numb, and you're making jokes. Hey, I'm trying to make some levity here. I'm trying to bring levity, some levity Jack. to the situation. I want to get out of here. You're never going to get us out of here, are you? How the hell did I get into this mess? I don't know. Everything was going great. Now I'm going to freeze to death. Because you're right. I mean, we, we, could, we could scream and shout all day, and no one, no one would ever hear us. No one would know what happened to us. That's it. <laughs> Might as well just give up right now, right? 
Yeah. I've never been so hopeless in my life. And why did I even bother coming back to Oakdale? Why? Will you knock it off? You cry, baby. You know, if there's one thing I hate, it's, it's some sniveling little brat bawling her eyes out. And why am I surprised? You know, it's one thing I can count on from you, Carly. You're as weak as they come. You know, as long as you can act like life's a big game, well then, hey, you're Miss Tough Guy. But when the chips are down, what are you? You know the but a quitter. No, I don't oh, give me that. You are blabbering your head off, talking about how we might as well just lay down and die. I did not think well, so. Well, sure. You know, I don't even want to hear your voice anymore. I don't. I just, I just let a little despair in there for one minute. Because I happen to have feelings, Jack. And sometimes I happen to express those feelings, okay? I never said we should give up. Fine. Then why don't you help me try to find something we might be able to use instead of whining? There's nothing here, Jack. Everything's either broken or useless. What are we going to do with the box of shotgun shells? Or, or here. Maybe we could make ourselves something to eat. Carly, here's something we can use. Jack. What, is your brain starting to freeze? What are you going to do? Are you going to shave? Where are those pots and pans? They're over there. Grab them. Start banging them together. Make as much noise as possible. Teague's anywhere near us. He's going to come running and make us stop. Yeah, and Teague has a gun, Jack. He probably has a million guns. Yeah? Well, he's got to open that door to use it. You just make the noise. Let me figure out the rest. All right, you sure you want me to do this? You got any better ideas? No. I do have a splitting headache. Yeah, me too. But uh, in my book, a headache's better than dying in this shed. How about you? Laura, go! Boyfriend. He, he got awfully cold and he left. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, he's got us, Carly. He's got us. your turn to do some work. You see that? Go tie your boyfriend up nice and tight. You think I'm gonna help you? You're crazy. Oh, fine by me. I'll just put a bullet in your brain. Carly. And then I'll tie him up. Or maybe once you're dead, I'll kill him too. Carly, Carly, just don't, don't mess with him, all right? Just do what he says. Fine. Tie his wrist and make it snappy. Thought you were real smart, didn't you? Make a lot of noise. Get me open the door, walk inside, and then you slit my throat, huh? Almost worked, didn't it? Yeah, and I almost won the lottery. Hey, honey, if you don't make it tight, it doesn't count. Ah! That's good. Okay, honey. Now you, hands behind your back. I guess it wouldn't do any good, Joe, to tell you that this, you're not going to get away with this. This is the Wild West, Joe. We're going to be missed. People are starting to already look for us anyway. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe they'll find your bones up here when they cut down the forest for a housing project. Maybe in a hundred years. All right? All right, honey. Back to back. Your hands against his. That's it. Yes. I should have finished you off when I put you down the stairs at Al's diner, Jack. But I figured you'd be smart enough to know not to mess with uh, me again. Don't do this. Don't do this. Let us go. I'll be sure you Save it, honey. We're going to be found, Joe. 
Why don't you just give up now? Save yourself the trouble. Hey, you want me to stuff this rag in your stupid mouth? You're not gonna be found. You're gonna freeze to death. So get used to it. And then come spring, I'm gonna bring the back up here and dig a hole so deep they'll never find you. Hey, must have crossed your mind, didn't it? Why didn't just shoot you? All that blood, all that DNA just waiting to be found? Uh-uh. See, I'm smart, Jack. I'm also a nice guy, remember? I'm the one who made sure you didn't have to die alone. Jack, I have to rest, okay? All right. Oh. I gotta tell you, G-Man, the last thing I've eaten is that licorice. My head is still pounding, and frankly, my bottom is so cold, I'm not sure it's still there. Sure it is. I can feel it wiggling up against me. <laughs> hey, well, at least one of us is finding some fun in all this. Yeah, well, it's the simple pleasures in life that keep me going, Carly. Oh, it's clouding up out there. Oh, great. So tonight, it's gonna be far below freezing. Listen, don't don't think about that, all right? Why not? Aren't you the one who's who's always saying that people should face reality? Yeah, well, I don't want you giving up on me like you started to before. I wasn't giving up. I was scared, and I was willing to admit it, and that's the difference between you and me. I'm willing to express my feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, I understand. You know, Jake was right. Everything you said, we'll freeze. Nobody will find us. <sighs> Teague hasn't been right about a single thing in his life, Carly. Yo, tell me you think we're gonna get out of this alive. We could. I thought you were saying you're not scared. Not even a little. Okay, I think we're wasting time talking. Rest period's over. Answer my question. Yeah, I'm scared, all right? I'm scared to death that you're not gonna do your share of the work and we'll never get ourselves untied. So let's go, work. You are absolutely insufferable. Yeah, and you're absolutely judgmental. Work. Come on, harder, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 